Hey everyone, welcome back. In this ISTQB exam question and answers video, I'm going to cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation and how you are going to target the exam questions for ISTQB foundation exams. So this is the second set of exam questions and we are on the question number 11. Now question 11 says, which of the following is an example of test first approach to development? Test first approach to development, right? Now we have to go through these options and we have to figure out which one is the test first approach and we have to select just one option okay so here if you see feature driven development so let's go the other way around then we have this quality driven development coverage driven development and test driven development now out of all these if you would have already went through the documentation and the syllabus we know that test first approach is the approach wherein test cases are basically designed first and then based on that criteria the development is done so test driven development is the test first approach wherein you design your test cases right and based on that the development is then done to make sure that those tests pass right so test driven development rest all you will see that you wouldn't even have heard much about those right so that's why all three are the wrong option test driven development is the test first approach to development right and that's why go through the the approaches of development when you are targeting for the exam the development models and understand what exactly those development models are and i have explained all these details in very very detailed whiteboard series as well which will definitely going to help you in these sort of questions okay now moving to the next question of this particular video which of the following statements about devops is correct okay so devops as i have explained briefly previously as well stands for development and operations and when you fill that basic gap which is more of a process gap previously in previous sdlc models the operations was absolutely functioning in the silos and development in the silos so that was causing a lot of bottlenecks and pain points for the operations for the development people were not taking responsibility right so it's more of a mind shift mindset and mind and uh, and uh, mindset change so that's where how the devops is going to help so which of the statement is go is correct about the devops that's what we have to explain now devops to speed up releases to speed up releases continuous integration is used to encourage developers to submit code quickly without the need to complete component testing no that's not the correct statement right so to speed of releases you do not just say you simply submit the code or check in the code without complete component testing absolutely baseless statement about devops so we just cross that out okay now to be able to update and release systems on a more frequent basis many automated regression tests are required to reduce the danger of regression okay so this looks sensible and looks correct so let's mark it with a dot and go through and eliminate the others if they don't make any sense to treat both developers and operations equally the testers will allocate more effort to release testing by operations using a shift right approach no okay there is nothing like that testers will not allocate so the, it's absolutely baseless statement if you see testers will allocate more effort to release testing by operations okay so that's that's not what the operations do okay so this is absolutely baseless statement testers won't allocate more effort for release testing using shift right approach that's not the correct statement to create increased synergy between testers developers and operations the testing must be fully automated with no manual testing absolutely baseless statement there is nothing called no manual testing there will always be some testing that will people have to go ahead and do without the help of automated tools right fully automated is a myth 100 percent you cannot achieve it okay so that's also a baseless statement so the correct statement is b to be able to update and release systems on a more frequent basis which is what the power of devops is that you are able to release systems on a more frequent basis you will need many automated regression tests are uh, which will reduce the danger of regression right so that's where th that's why this is the correct statement now moving to the third question of this particular video which of the following is most likely to be performed as part of the system testing right as part of system testing what is most likely to be performed security testing of a credit management system by an independent testing okay yes looks 
correct statement. Let me mark it with a dot before I eliminate the others. And we have just have to choose one option. Testing the interface of a currency exchange system with an external banking system. Now here they are talking about system testing. Please note. Okay. Now here the second statement says interface of a currency exchange system with an external banking system. So that means there is an integration, right? Integration involved. Integration involved in this, right? So that's why this is not a system testing. This is this is involving integration testing because there is an interface. So we can cross that out. Then beta testing of a remote learning system by a courseware developer is not a system testing, right? That's a beta testing. Straight away you can cross that out. Okay, it's it's an acceptance testing form, right? So you you can imagine how easy it becomes if you go through these options and straight away you will be able to figure out where integration is required. So that's absolutely incorrect because you are talking about system testing. Testing interactions again interactions between the user interface and database of a human resource system. Okay, so this is again a component. This is again an integration, right? So this is component integration. So different components are being integrated. So this is again integration. All right, and this is a system integration. This is external third external banking system currency exchange. So system integration, uh, multiple system or two systems are being integrated. So this is not system testing, but system integration. This is component integration testing, and this is anyways acceptance. So the correct answer is a security testing of a credit management system by an independent test team because as part of the system testing security testing can also be done by an independent testing so a is the correct answer for question number 13 now moving to the next one which of the following statements is correct so let's go through these statements and we have to select one option regression tests increase in number as the project progresses whereas the number of confirmation tests decreases as the project progresses as the project progresses yes regression tests increase but that doesn't mean that confirmation tests decrease as the project progresses absolutely incorrect so we can cross that out okay now moving to the second one regression tests are created and run when test object is fixed whereas confirmation tests are run whenever the test object is enhanced okay so confirmation test or retest all right so confirmation test or retest so their uh, second uh, point is a uh, point they are saying is regression tests are created and run when the test object is fixed so for example there is some failure that has been fixed so will you then regression test case uh, then you run regression test against that particular failure that that is confirmation or retest right and then it's again contradictory it's other way around whereas confirmation tests are run whenever a test object is enhanced that's absolutely so doesn't matter enhancement or fix the this is incorrect statement okay so confirmation test is run or retest is run when the defect is fixed right so it's a other way around then the third option regression test is concerned with checking that the operational environment remains unchanged whereas confirmation test is concerned with with testing changes to the test object. No, that's also incorrect, right? Regression test is not concerned with checking the operational environment remains unchanged. No, it's not about operational environment. So that's also incorrect. We are left with just one option. So that means that will be the correct answer. So regression testing is concerned with adverse effects in unchanged code, right? So regression testing is all about. So if a defect has been fixed, then retest or confirmation test is retesting that particular fix that if test case one was failing previously retesting or confirmation testing is re-executing that test cases test case one and ensuring that the fix has actually fixed that particular defect that was there now regression testing will is concerned about the adverse effect of any of the code changes that could have done in the unchanged code right so this is the correct answer so if say for example there was you know a defect which was fixed and test case that failed against it was one retest or confirmation test is re-executing this test case one when the defect is fixed now once this defect is fixed developer would have done some changes in the code right now this test case will validate those changes but any unchanged code around whether that that is working exactly the same way as it was previously the things that were passing previously are working the same way that is what regression testing is concerned about so regression testing is concerned with adverse effect in unchanged code whereas confirmation testing is concerned with testing changed code absolutely correct right so d is the correct answer for question number 
14 or question number 4 of this particular video. Moving to the last question of this particular video, which of the following is an example of a defect that can be found by static testing but not by dynamic testing, okay? Which of the following is an example of a defect that you can figure out by static but not by dynamic testing? We have to select just one option, lack of usability provided through the user interface, okay? Let's go to the other one, code with no path that reaches it, poor response times for most of the expected users, okay? So let's try to eliminate. So lack of usability provided through the user interface. This is basically, so from the user interface, unless until you are using that particular application, lack of usability, you won't be able to figure out just doing the static testing, right? So that is basically a dynamic testing. All right, so you can cross that out. Code with no path that reaches it, this looks very close and is a correct answer. So let me mark that with a dot and eliminate the others and then finally mark it as a correct answer. So poor response times for most of the expected users. Response time, how will you get the response time of the application unless until you are dynamically testing it, right? You are accessing the application, only then you will know what is the response time of the page being loaded, right? So this is also dynamic, right? So here what we are looking at is example of a defect that can be found by static but not dynamic. So anything which is dynamic involves dynamic testing, we are eliminating that. So we just left with the static testing options. Required features that are not implemented in the code, okay? So required features that are not implemented in the code would, is, is that sort of a defect? This is absolutely not a defect. Any required features which are not implemented in the code is not a defect, right? So there could be a potential development activity already going on. There are 10 more features to be implemented. This is just a list that, okay, there are, these are required features which are not implemented yet, but may be implemented in future, right? This is not a defect at all. This statement is not a defect at all. So we can cross that out. So we are just left with B, code with no path that reaches it, right? And this is where the static testing can be helpful because if you have a code with no path that can reach it or your test scenarios and test cases cannot exercise that particular path, that is where static testing will be helpful because your dynamic test cases can't reach that particular scenario or case, okay? So this is basically where a defect can be found by static testing but not by the dynamic testing. So B is the correct option for this particular question. So that's all for this particular video in which we have covered another five exam questions for ISTQB foundation exam. In the next video, I'll cover another five exam questions with detailed explanation. Thank you. See you in the next one.